Walt Disney Studios will spend at least $6 million marketing the long-awaited finale of the Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which opens Friday. But the studio also knows how to generate a lot of buzz on the cheap. CBS 13's George Warren was at an early screening today with a so-called influencer. People keep telling me they know me. It's hard to believe the nine-part Star Wars Skywalker Saga began 42 years ago. You know, who doesn't love Star Wars? It's the, the greatest franchise. I was in the theater when I was six years old. Uh, it was one of the first movies I ever saw in the theater. John Marcotte's love of superhero and fantasy films is what got him invited to an early screening at Lucasfilm in San Francisco. That and his Heroic Girls website makes him what the industry calls an influencer. My audience is uh, women who love geeky stuff and parents of little girls that love geeky stuff. It soon becomes apparent that marketing the merchandise is every bit as important as marketing the movie. That's the, that's the bargain we're making. They, they show me the stuff and show me a good time, and then hopefully I talk about this merchandise on my website. And there are really just two hard rules here at Lucasfilm. No cameras in the theater, and for crying out loud, no spoilers. It's Star Wars, man. What's not to love about Star Wars? The film gets a healthy thumbs up from an admittedly biased crowd. Yeah, they, uh, they had a lot of work to do, a lot of ground to cover to tie up every loose end, and J.J. Abrams, to his credit, I, I think he did it. How about a spoiler? No, no spoilers. <laughs> I love this movie so much, but I so want to come back. No spoilers. <laughs> Looks like a good time. Even though the movie officially opens on Friday, you'll find some early showings tomorrow night.